I'm good, bro. Did you come by here? I hear that this is the place to be. Hey, right up. All right, step up for a meat explosion. <laughs> <laughs> What were these little ones? That's an Australian Wagyu. Right there. Holy shit. Unbelievable. That one's dumb. Look at that. It's a little aggressive, but enjoy it. <laughs> Get it. A whole diagnostic breakdown of Babylon's food culture. This is a landmark right here. That's why we came, baby. Gorgeous. <laughs> Get the good crunchy pieces. What is it? Oh my it's reindeer. <laughs> I really need to go back to work. <laughs> Same. We've been here 39 years, I think. Yeah, 1982. So we're going on our 40th year. My uncle started this store, and like a year later, my dad ended up buying it. Knew nothing about being a butcher, and that's it, we're here now. We're really known for prime dry aged beef. I had to get a little snack for a second. <laughs> <laughs> a little finger. Chicken, all natural chicken? Yeah, they come from Wayne Farms, small, small chicken, small bird, so it's extra tender. There's nothing like mama cup it. <laughs> I got a guy, this kid in Brooklyn, this kid Alex, good kid. He's a meat man, he sells meat. Childhood best friend grew up eating this eggplant farm and he told me you gotta come out to Babylon and see what they're doing. I forgot. Let me tell I you this. Here. Yeah, you're expensive. Italian. Italian or German? You can't taste Germany in there, but no. man, <laughs> I can taste the Italian. Yeah. That's good. Uh. I requested something very exclusive called Kupim. We're gonna explore that. See how that cooks up. Wagyu fillets, some ribeyes, some strips. What's the obsession with the Wagyu? Why does everyone love that shit so much? Honestly, I don't know, but it's delicious. Everyone tries to compare it to prime beef and whatever they've had before, but it's a it's a league of its own. It really is. I tell people use it as an appetizer. Get a did piece. Did you ever see that movie? The well, League of Their Own? I did. Gina Davis? Did, yeah. Come on, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> there's no crying in meat. There's no crying in meat. <laughs> <laughs> We got a couple of punching bags right here. Some nice. Fresh pigs. Beautiful. Um, this is all our aged beef, 75 day dry age. This is going on 30 days. This is a Japanese Wagyu dry aged. Wow. It's like wine. Yeah. I've never had actual Wagyu aged. Yeah. But I've tried meats that have aged for a long fucking time. I tend not to love them when it's too long. Was it like too much? It was like blue cheese, right? Yeah, it was next level. Oh, Probably. check this out. I forgot. I forgot. Oh. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> That's Kupim. That's a fucking, there's a special, I don't know the name of the, the cow. The Zebu cow. Zebu cow it has a fat hump above the neck. It looks really, like, looks deformed. But it's not a piece of callous bone, you know, like, yeah. this is just straight meat intensity, fat, fucking flesh mounds. The mystery muscle. By the way, when I told you I could get this, I, it was nine months ago, I completely underestimated how hard this was to get. Everything that takes nine months is worth waiting for. It's <laughs> the fucking cracker down. Cracker down. Look at this. It's tornado. <laughs> Look like Gabagoo. It's just interesting how the marbling right? of some of these pieces is like. That's what I'm saying. It, it's like out of nowhere. I think we should throw one on and find out. Just get it. How do we know it's done? I, that's the thing, I'm not sure. I knew nothing about it. I've been, I've been, you know, down the rabbit hole on some shit, and I come across this mysterious piece of flesh, you know? And I had full confidence that this man was going to be able to deliver the goods, and he did. It almost tastes like baggery. I think it needs to cook a little bit longer. Mm. It's tasty as hell. Mm. It's very beefy smelling. I'm doing some experimental meats. Oh, it looks good. What is it? It's from Brazil. It's the meat that they cut off all the plastic surgery. Really? <laughs> I'm in, man. Let's try it out. <laughs> it's a little fatty. So it's like a piece of fresh jerky. It's good, man. Not bad, right? Very good. I think it should be like on a skewer type thing over it so it could really like char. Like roast? Yeah. From what I saw in the vid, you could end up trimming for hours and like, yo, just never get the right piece, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, fuck yeah. Else. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is the way. We unlock the coupine. 
It needs to be big ass pieces, sliced periodically like fucking shawarma. You know, like you take off the crunch and you retain the juice. More crunch and it just keeps cooking slowly until there's nothing left. Mm. That's the prime. It's from the hand of a god right there. That's the prime piece. <laughs> Come through. Appreciate it. Maybe welcome, bro. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, here, try that one. Oh, it's right and dead. That was so good. Yeah, yeah, that's one of my right favorite here. customers in the world. How are you? This action. Hi, nice, nice to, to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Those because are the best. Those are the Cooper's. prime pieces right there. This is this is Brazilian uh, from a different cow. This is a hump. Oh, my God. It's so nice. It's delicious. Right? Making some kebabs in the street. I'm destined to make kebabs. Or maybe I just really like to. And it just feels like I should be doing that. You know when you like doing something and you're like, damn, I should open up a place like this. And maybe you should or maybe you shouldn't. I get that feeling when I make kebab. It just becomes this luxurious texture of like, bouncy pate. Ooh, she's a little runaway. Look at that sausage. Daddy's girl. It's beauty. Lamb and beef mixture. You wanna try it, anybody? Just have that end first by itself. It's no fucking joke. Fun blue. Two minutes. It's amazing. Now what he's doing is putting more fat on the most fatty meat that there is on earth. Why not? What'd you bring out? Prime dry age, 75 day shell steak, prime skirt steak, prime flat iron, Australian waggy shell. If anyone wants to explode meat, <laughs> yeah, you put this place anywhere, it's it's literally a standout. From the food that's showcased within the shelves to olive-fed wagyu that it's very hard to get. You pick up a rock and you find all this crazy shit underneath. That's Long Island. It's Babylon. This is the prime platter. Try that. Try this right here. That's good, the 75 That has day, a ridiculous right? flavor, yeah. If you know what the fuck is up, take that bread and get over here with it. <laughs> get that board sauce. Can you buy this up here? Yeah. You can. They have it right inside. This is like Price Club. Yeah, it's like when you get the mozzarella stick and the fucking pot stickers. It's a sample. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, got the goods. you never really get dry aged Wagyu before. Nobody's doing it. Is this, is this the bonus? Oh my nah. lord. This is the real one. Yeah. And the best part. Thank you, senor. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Just a little nickel bag of funk. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day here in Babylon. It's a gorgeous day out on the island. There's a couple of clouds, scattered clouds, which I like. I like scattered clouds. I don't like when there's no clouds. I think it's fucking weird. Who's your favorite meteorologist? Uh, I would have to probably go with Sam Champion. He's the most storied. I love feeding people. That was a nice little expose. Where's anybody go any restaurant and get no this spread? That's Never. what I'm saying. Whoever yeah. was there was just treated to something very special. Exactly. Good shit. Yeah. It's fucking Babylon, bro. We just had one of the craziest expose symposiums on meat in the street. That's, it's world class. I don't think that you could go anywhere and get that combinations of care and age and region and, what's up? Come on down. You do everything your uncle does? Babylon, bro. Across the street in that bakery? Looks pretty awesome. Yeah? There's a pineapple upside down cake in there. Shall we stroll over? Splash. My friend was enchanted by a pineapple upside down cake. Yeah. May I? I always have an issue with scotch tape. That's fucking ridiculous. It's good. Oh, girl.